fuck you TV all the time, motherfuckers! <laughs> Alright, Labor Day again, part two. What do we got here? Advisor Net, financial. All these companies, big ass buildings downtown. <laughs> Capella University, another for profit school. Not sure about that one. Government center. Why we didn't occupy this side with more grass, I'll never know. Let's occupy the other side where it's all concrete. But on the other side of that was where we originally occupied last year. Before the great sand in the vagina. Then we occupied Peavy. But most of the uh, haves. Well, actually, I have something to say on that. The, uh, the cops came up with a pretty good strategy. See, they realized that yuppies who want to be political activists, this, 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 and all progressive, <laughs> you know, full of white guilt, and we'll help you if you're a, it'll make me feel better about myself, <laughs> and you're some traditional minority that, of course, I am too, but, you know, I guess I don't look, uh, you know, you gotta be black, <laughs> or... Some will feel guilty probably about exploiting the Mexicans. But I know they get a lot less love than, uh, you know, a non-intimidating black. If you're large and black, they're scared. <laughs> In fact, you almost have to be a black woman to not scare them. And that's who they sort of help. But anyway. Yeah, the cops came up with a pretty good strategy. They realized that yuppie wannabe activists... We'll occupy when they have tents and generators and lattes and a wireless hub and all sorts of shit to make their lives comfortable. Then it's like camping out. In fact, it's better than camping out because we're still downtown and we can go to Starbucks. So they, they probably just had a little meeting and came up with the idea, hey, they want to camp out like homeless people. Do we let homeless people get away with having a tent out where you can see it? No, we smash their fucking tent. We may force them into the shelter if we can. If they get away with a tent, they hide it deep in the woods. And then, if they're lucky, they might get six months of use out of it before some ranger or cop or someone finds it. And then, smashes the poles, tears the fabric. Makes it so it ain't no longer waterproof. And generally, makes them lose their shit. So, that's what they did. No more tents, no more comfort. Now if you want to occupy and say a lot of people are losing their homes and becoming homeless, which is the original idea, why they're camping out, then we'll get rid of treat you like real homeless people. You're not going to have nothing, motherfucker. Actually, homeless people don't even get away with wrapping themselves in tarps and blankets, in reality. But they got away with that. But still, they knew that was enough. That was uncomfortable enough. And then, of course, the cold coming in. You know, we started in April and occupied Peavy, who's, you know, nobody who came up with that date occupied there. Because we fucking ran hypothermia half the nights. And, of course, April showers, soaking people to the teeth. Of course, our Occumom Tony didn't, wasn't aware we had real plastic, so he used to beat the hell out of leaky tarps, tarps for the first month. There wasn't enough plastic for everyone to get one anyway. Then right when, uh... St. Stephen stole all our stuff. I went through it to organize it and make sure what was there and then the medical thing I organized. It was a shitload of Mylar. Space blankets, which some of them are rather used and worthless. But still, they're theoretically waterproof. Although it's like trying to wrap yourself up in a burrito wrapper, but... But still, that could have been used to keep people dry at least during the showering parts, but no. Well, that's that in waterproof bins. Well... People soaked and froze to their death, fucking froze themselves to the teeth. But then, you know, of course, they carved, they cracked down. No more tarps, no more blankets, no more anything unattended. Now the few of us that remain, uh, we ninja in and out. You couldn't tell there was a camp there, which is what they want, and there's no table, no signs. But we still exist. We're not going to retreat in the secret little meetings. For the homeowners! <laughs> no. We're protesting a larger issue. 
Why are there people with nothing? Why are there people without housing? You know, I'm a full-time student. Go to MTCT, biotech. I'm not well, with this Pell Grant cut. I'm not sure how I'm going to finish my degree. All I could take was six credits. But I think if I got expanded loans going to a four-year school, they'd really only cover another year, which I'm not sure is enough time. So, you know, who knows? Being Native American and actually enrolled, I do have a couple outs. One involves moving to Kansas to get some of my electives out of the way for, you know, then maybe I could get done in a year, but, you know. And another year applying for scholarships, hoping they come through, but I'll only have about 400 bucks left over after they do come through if they come through, so. So I'm not getting an apartment this semester. I'm, uh, I'm probably going to be making these videos about Occupy when it's ball freezing cold. <laughs> and I'm outside in the fucking cold dying, which, uh, no one will give a shit. All right.